Right, golfers, are you fed up of fatting, thinning, all horrible shots, basically, that you can hit with an iron? I thought you might be. Well, I've got a simple drill here for you that could transform your iron striking. Let's not muck around then. Let's get in the Foresight Studio. And what I need you to do is start getting your pressure into your lead side a lot earlier in your golf swings. Let me show you what I mean. Here are a couple of my students that I've had here in the Foresight Studio recently, and I'm just gonna go to the top of their swing. And what I want you to take note of, so this is right foot, this is left foot. So lead foot, trail foot, trail foot, lead foot. Look at the amount of pressure these guys have on their trail feet. 100% for this guy over here, 71% for this guy over here. If I compare that to me and Mark, I'm gonna put Mark at the top of his swing and me at the top of my swing and they're both pretty much in the same spot. 51% on my lead foot, 49 on my trail with the pressure. Mark 59% on his lead foot, 41% on his trail. So my students, pressure's in the ground are way behind what me and Mark are. We've recentered our pressures ready for our downswings. And I don't want this to be confusing for lots of golfers out there. I want to make this as simple as possible. What me and Mark have done by recentering our pressures is going to allow us to be able to push in the ground differently to those guys they're gonna to have to rearrange themselves to get into the position that we are in their downswings. Me and Mark are ready to now push other forces like verticals and torques, ready to get it on the golf ball in the right time. Whereas my lessons, they've got to rearrange themselves, which will take half of their downswing up. And then they've got to do all the other pressures that me and Mark are gonna be doing in this part of our swing here, which is way too late. So they don't apply all the right forces to that golf ball. Their low points and things are out of sync, which has a massive influence on strike. So how do we fix it? Before we get to the fix, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button because I know a lot of you aren't subscribing through my analytics. Hit that big red subscribe button. And also if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit the thumbs up button because YouTube likes it and so do I. Check these little things out. Two rubber half circle kind of shaped things that you can squish into the ground. Now I'm gonna only be using one of them on the floor on the pressure plate here under my lead toe. And what I want you to do, and you, if you don't have anything like this, basically go and find a tennis ball, cut it in half, something that you can squash under your feet numerous times without having to do it. Like if you put a can on your foot and squash it, that's drill over with. You're going to have to have a lot of cans uh, spare to do that. So try and get something like a tennis ball, something that you can squash and it will pop back up and you can do it over and over again to keep practicing. Now I've put Swing Catalyst live on the screen here so you can see what's happening with my pressure as I go through this drill. What I want you to feel is I want you to be a little bit more dynamic if you do struggle with fats and things and you're the person that sort of stays back too far on your trail side and struggles to get over. What I want you to do is try and feel a bit more dynamic away and towards the target. So you've just got a little bit of motion going before you take that club back. Once you're about to take that club back, I want you to push into your rubber ball, tennis ball, whatever you've got under your foot to take that club back because it's gonna be a reaction. Push into the ground on your left foot. So you can see my pressure goes up to 70, 80% there on my left side, lead side. And then once you're gonna take that back, my pressure goes onto my back foot. But once I get to sort of parallel to the floor here with my arm, left arm parallel, I want you to start squishing that ball under your foot, that rubber thing under your left foot as early as you can. This will help you start to recenter loads more. Let me hit one and show you what I mean. Okay, so here's that shot of me moving a bit of back and forth, back and forth. And as I press into my front foot, then I start to move 
into my backswing. So it went up to 77% pressure on my lead foot. And then I started into my backswing where you saw pressures go up to 80, 90, 7, 98, 99 pressure on my back foot. But as I start to reach left arm parallel, that all starts to recenter. And as I get to the top of my backswing, let's just get there quickly. I am now 51, 49 either side and my pressure has re-centered, which now means that I can push into the ground on the way down. So watch my foot squish that rubber ball into the ground. I've flattened it. That's me pushing into the ground. And now I'm going to push up and out of it like I'm jumping. That's my vertical, this blue bar here down the bottom. And I'm applying all of my forces at impact. Now, if we compare that to one of my lessons really quickly. And as you saw before, because so much pressure's on that back foot, by the time you get to left arm parallel, you don't have as much pressure on your lead side. And as you get to impact, you haven't been able to apply as much forces and torques and verticals into your swing. And for this person, this student, for instance, hasn't even started jumping out of his lead side yet, which is gonna cause those serious problems with strike, with where your low point is coming into that golf ball. You having your pressures too far back here, not having time to sort yourself out, and then get everything applied to that golf ball will only lead to fats, thins, maybe the odd shank, those kind of ideas. Let's try and get our pressures sorted out earlier in our swing. This is hard. This is why things like this on the ground might help you get a feel for what you want to try and achieve. And this definitely gets my body and my feet working in a certain way that I want to feel those pressures. And like I said, bit more dynamic at the start, bit of movement, so you're ready to go. Push towards the target and then start your backswing. That will get your pressures shifting better. As you get to parallel to the floor, you should be thinking about pressing your pressure and squishing that ball or whatever's under your foot into the ground. That will help you recenter. Once you're at the top of your swing, remember me, Mark, if I put Justin Rose up, whoever pro we've got on our system there, they're pretty much 50-50, maybe a tiny bit trail side, 60-40, at the most with an iron. So try and get that weight recentering, that pressure recentered, sorry, and then you'll be able to push in the ground, jump better, which will get you out of your lead side more, which will get that handle coming up, that club head going down, and you striking those golf balls a lot, lot better. Let me know what you think, guys. I bought these off Amazon myself. You don't need to go and buy something. If you've got a tennis ball at home, literally cut that in half, and that is something that you can use over and over again. Like I say, a can probably won't last many more than one swings. So try and get something that you can squish numerous times. I hope that helps lots of golfers down that lens watching. If you do enjoy the content or are enjoying the channel, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because up to 50% of you watching aren't subscribed. 50%, come on, Lucky Army. Click that subscribe button, I've got targets to it. And also, I am now available for lessons on the Skillist app. I'll put a link in the description down below. So if you want or are interested in more lesson and tuition on an individual basis, make sure you go and check that out and hopefully I can help you on the Skillist app also. Thanks all for watching. Squish that ball on the lead side as you get to lead arm parallel to that floor. Oh, ripper.